Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have a jailbreak tutorial for you guys for all 32-bit devices running iOS 8.4.1. So with that being said, let's get straight into this tutorial. Also guys, let's go ahead and try to smash up to 10 likes on this video. I really appreciate it if you guys can do that. And also comment something down below if you guys have anything regarding jailbreak content. You guys might have a chance to get pinned. So with that being said, let's go ahead and continue. All right, so first off guys, if you guys have a iDevice that is running iOS 8.4.1 and is a 32-bit device. So for example, I am going to be using my iPhone 4S that I have used in the past for my last videos. This is a 32-bit device that I am going to be using and it is on iOS 8.4.1 using the downgrade method that I had used in my past videos. If you guys have not yet seen that downgrade video from iOS 9.3.5 all the way back to iOS 6, then upgradable from iOS 6 to 8.4.1, go ahead and click on the card that is on the top right of the screen right now and it'll redirect you to that tutorial. So first off guys, let's go ahead and give a big thanks to Timstar for allowing us to get this jailbreak working. So this is an awesome jailbreak. It's called ETA Sun Jailbreak. So if you guys are not yet familiar with this joke ETA Sun was created by ENMTW if you do not remember that developer who had made a hoax jailbreak in the past so Timstar went ahead and made a untethered jailbreak meaning once you guys jailbreak you guys won't have to re-add the IPA on your iDevice any longer after you guys side load it on your guys's iDevice so from here go ahead and click on the first link that is inside of the description to be redirected to timstar.net forward slash ETA Sun jailbreak and then it'll bring you to this page Page, go ahead and click on this blue hyperlink right here which will download the IPA to your computer and once that is done go ahead and click on the second link that is inside of the description if you guys have not yet got it to get Cydia Impactor so once you guys have that let me go ahead and launch up Cydia Impactor really quickly all right so I have my iDevice connected right now so as you guys can see from the screen I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in my settings panel right here if I go into settings general and about you guys can see that I am running on iOS 8.4.1 on a 4s so from here that's all you guys need to do on your 4s now on your guys's computer right here you have it connected already as you guys can see it's already connected so just go ahead and drag the ipa onto the iDevice. go ahead and enter your itunes email press enter then go ahead and press your password inside of the box and then press enter again so i'm going to go and press enter and this is the first time i'm actually running this on my iDevice. so as you guys can see it's going ahead and doing its process just like all the other jailbreak ipas that i have done in the past so from here as you guys can see that was a pretty quick installation on the iDevice. so as you guys can see on the screen now i do have the eta sun jailbreak icon already here so let's go ahead and press on it now if you guys do not have it to work completely fine the first time or you cannot launch it go ahead and go into settings general and profiles and device management down here and then you guys will see your email and you guys want to go ahead and accept and trust your itunes email so from here let's go ahead and press the eta sun jailbreak and the only thing that you can click on is eta sun jailbreak so let's go ahead and just press it real quickly and then you guys will see that it does have a little progress bar up top and what it is doing. So as you guys can see, he did give thanks to all these other people. So Jonathan Seals, which last night he apparently helped with some type of problem that was inside of the jailbreak. And then as well as Luca Tedesco, Sugiza, as well as other developers. So as you guys can see, it's going ahead and respringing the iDevice is what I am going to assume it's doing and then we should be back on a home screen momentarily so there's the vibration we're gonna go ahead and wait really quick and there we go we are back on the lock screen let's go ahead and just slide to unlock once it's ready there we go sliding over to the right you guys can see I do have Cydia now let's go ahead and launch it up and it should have yep there we go there's the loading screen and Cydia is running perfectly fine on my iPhone 4s all the way on iOS 8.4.1 so as you guys can see this jailbreak only works for 32-bit devices and not 64-bit devices since there is also a jailbreak on there as well. So if you guys like this tutorial, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future as well. There's a lot more videos regarding iOS jailbreaks as well. So with that being said, don't forget to also snapshot this outro or add me on Snapchat so I can interact with you guys and you guys can see a little behind the scenes on what's been going on in my videos. Don't forget to also follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to be up to date on what's been going on in the jailbreak world as I'm always tweeting out new things. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.